I think I got my first grommet of the day. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he says that because we're, uh, well, at Grommet Mountain. Oh, no, it's a casing. Well, at least it's not a grommet. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of grommets. That sounds like one. 52. Oh, oh nice. Hopefully, Wainos will take care about uh, another 20 or 30. And Tim is over there for his first Gromit Mountain experience. Yeah, that's what's fun about this place. We're still walking in, and you guys are already getting signals. Jar lid. Jar lid. Yep, just yeah. chopped it. <laughs> and cabin guy. Yep. This is the first time we've been up here. And it wasn't freezing, yeah. 84, 85. Really? Yeah. What? Well, it's... 84, 85. <laughs> that sounds tantalizing. Yeah, Buenos is on a good signal. Yeah, usually it's 15 degrees. See our breath, my glasses all Eight layers. Crossed. Yeah, let's see what you're working with. <laughs> oh man, you're in the quarter range. Yeah, but just beyond it is scratch, so. Well, there's stuff everywhere. Oh yeah, but we'll figure out what it is. Smooth, huh? <laughs> and for those who may not know or have seen what Gromit Mountain is, we're at the top of a mountain. There's a cellar hole. There's an early to mid 1900s cabin site and a lot of stuff in the ground. Yep. How's oh, it? you got a merry you got a merry widow's tin again. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice Wayno. This one's in better shape. Yeah. The last one had ash and it was wet, so it just like the noise is rubbed right off it. That's killer. All right. So this guy didn't have a one-off incident. No, no. And this is only like 15 feet from the last one. He was busy. Yeah. The, this must have been the party zone. Oh man, that's awesome, Buenos. <laughs> nice. Very nice. And you know what? The other one, like mine, rang up in the 70s. Huh. Yeah, so this... that, that was pretty high. No. Dirt. Yeah. I think it's dirt. Uh, hopefully. Yeah, that or whatever was in there disintegrated. And that's the powder of what's left. <laughs> Maybe he didn't get onto the second tin. Who knows? I know one thing's for sure. It looks like it's been partially pried open. Yep. So maybe he couldn't open it and... Tossed it. Yep. Oh, that's a milk, milk bottle. Oh man, please have something on it. No. Oh yeah, just one quart. Huh. Cool. That is cool. A little ecotarium thing going on in there. Oh, the the vegetarium, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I was catching the the staples there, the rivets. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. You got the whole strap. Stapled animal. Big iron. Uh-huh. Jeez, huh? Yeah, we do, we have found these before, but Right. That's uh that's interesting. You might be able to get that around the waist. Uh maybe. I don't know. A little bit more continuation of Dame's plug. Pulling stuff out. More leather. A buckle. Mm. Oh yeah, there's another another big strop that goes underneath your knee. Huh. It's deep too, huh? Uh-huh. That would be the smattering of 70s I was getting. Probably more more rivets. Come on, where's the proto bells? Wow. That looks more like belt leather. Yeah. <laughs> it 
just keeps just keeps coming. Come on, give me a big big old cowbell, right? They were, uh, they were really into leather up here at the... Denim and leather. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Uh, it sounds like it would be a Rob Halford type scenario. Oh, I can see it. Hellbent for leather. There we go. Right. Oh, look at that. Another buckle. Definitely the full kit. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Damn. Okay, we got a another buckle. Oh, yeah. That's an old D. <clears throat> so that's four buckles. And there's another one. Five buckles. No brass though, huh? Oh, there's my. That's the 78 right there. Another rivet. Uh huh. This guy was just like, ah, screw it. <laughs> Through the whole pile. <laughs> it is weird because it's all different. Right. Okay, there's some sort of some sort of something there. Wow. Some strappage. Well, you know, I've always wondered what was at the base of this tree making all the noise. <laughs> now we know. Oh, you missed it. Dame just dug up 10 pounds of leather, six buckles, and 12 rivets. Oh, wow. All in one spot? <laughs> yeah. Boy, what'd that sound like? Everything. I, all the numbers. What do you got going on? Well, I. I was pushing through a spider web and I caught a, a 49. So I cleared the hole, I pulled like six nails out and then I found it, I set it right here because it blends in with the dirt, you can't even see it. Oh, nice. Yeah, little stop them from flop them thing. Yeah, very good. I was convinced that there's more stuff in this area because it was so good to me those few times in here. That's right. So I'm bobbing and weaving through the spider webs and it's paying off. Any grommets? No, no, so far. Wow. Has anybody else dug any? No. It's a good sign. It's an odd sign. Well, it just means I did a good job last time. <laughs> that you did last time. Took you a few trips. Yeah, probably three or four anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's a brass buckle. How many buckles you up? Is it six? <laughs> Seven? Yeah. And then that... Point that thing. Yeah. That's yeah, a brass buckle. Nice. Iron ring. Actually, different looking. That's lead. It's a it's a little ring. I thought it was iron, but on the back it's scratched. It's lead. I don't know, just kind of different. Yeah, it is different. Nice piece. Yeah, my first. Definitely had some good usage. <laughs> wow, like two seconds ago, what did Dame just say? He just said, anybody dig any grommets yet? And what did you just dig? And I literally, right after he said that, I just pulled one out of the ground. 55 though, it was snappy. So I was like, Willie, maybe button. But definitely the evil. And it was Wayne who got it, of course. Yep, I was hoping someone else would do it, but now I'm, you watch now, I'm gonna dig a whole string of them. Yeah, I hope Tim gets to take home one or two. Right. Well, they're around, trust me. First axe head of the day. There you go. 
This guy was tossing everything over here. Yeah, I heard in your travels. How many more buckles? Um, I'm up to eight. Nice. Yeah. Are you sure? Another one, second. Another grommet wheel? Yeah. Stuff just flying out of the ground. <laughs> nice lid. He just dug that. And that was with it? Yeah, that was with it. Oh, it fits right on there. Oh, look, there's little little breather holes in there. Could it? Oh, yeah. Let me put your oil in there. And somehow... That's different, this. It is. Ain't seen one like that before. No. type latch. Cool. Oh wow. Yeah, fancy drawer pull. That is fancy. Mm -hmm. Ain't never done seen one like that before. Mm -hmm. It's hefty too. That must have rang up good in the sheet metal driveway. Um, it was sitting right underneath the square nail, so I was only catching like a 50 or 60. Oh. Uh, I pulled the square nail out and it jumped to 82. Yeah, I bet. Mm hmm. Nice. Huh. Just kind of sticking my coil in this stuff. Beautiful. Oxen nub. Nice. Yeah, I moved some brush because there was a good signal in here, and there we go. Beauty. And now that I've removed the brush, last season we were up here. A little bit over that way, there was a bunch of buttons because this is off the face of the cellar hole, but it's brushy. And there it is. My first grommet. So, you saw that signal? Yeah, it was loud, but you never know. Ah, got one. Number two. Eighty-seven. I believe our oxen knob was eighty-six. got good. I think I got a shiny. Ooh. You want to come over? We'll find out together. And we were talking about on the way up, we've never found silver here. Right. This just rang up an 87. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it's my first. No way. Wow. 
I have never found a barber quarter. No kidding. That is my first. That is amazing. Dame, yeah. Dame is the, uh, no, George dug one as well. That's wow. a great shape too. 1904. Yes. <laughs> that is fantastic. That's beautiful. <laughs> that is in great shape. Wow. Where are we too? Uh, well, we're right, right off, right off the middle of cabin and cellar hole. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> I can now say I've dug a barber plenty of dimes. I've dug like three barber halves. Yeah. Never a quarter. No kidding. Which is kind of, you know, you wouldn't think you'd find halves before right. that, but nice. Good day. A complimentary check. Yeah, it's right in the nickel range. That's definitely from Cabin Guy. <laughs> That's an odd combo. Yeah. That's about six feet over. Huh. It is, it's a coin. I was just telling Tim, spread out a little bit because sometimes a spill will be spread out a little bit. It's got to be a wheat penny. Yeah. Hard to see, but it's definitely wheat. So. There may be more under here. Casing. Grommet. <laughs> Casing. And this I just had to chase out of the leaf cover that I threw. I have no idea what. It's all in the same plug. Oh, it was a nickel. It had that 57. Yeah. Huh, the spill gets more crazy. Oh, it's a buffalo. Nice. Yeah, very nice. Cabin guy was definitely hanging about right here and just emptied his pockets with all the stuff. Plug number one with shiny was good, but this was peculiar. All right, so you've crept over to where I'm working. I haven't even showed you what I've done yet, but let's right. talk about you. All right, well, I. I dug my second unfired 22, and I was scanning this way, maybe about 25 feet away, and I had a 65 that was very faint, a little iron buckle. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it was, there's a lot of roots in a very short depth here. Yeah. It wasn't fun to get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> well, keep working the slime. I'm going to go right back over that spot, and yep. I'll fill you guys in All right. Sounds after good. I'm done. So I'm gonna give this to you guys in reverse order. Cabin guy was doing something over there. Mm. Whether his trousers let go and he was had things about with him, there was just two spots. Mm. But there's lots of nails. So I'm gonna give it to you in reverse order. So a buffalo. Nice. Right? Mm-hmm. Just slip? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So in with the buffalo was 
two casings, some scrap metal, this thing, which almost looks like a medallion, right? And a grommet. Mm -hmm. And a wheat penny. Oh, nice. Right. So all that stuff right there was one little plug. Huh. What got me searching the area was, and this is again in reverse order. This thing came out. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that. Right? That's a... Like a draw pull. Weird little pulley thing. Right. But what started it off was the 87. Mm. Uh -huh. We had this mentioned on the way up. Why haven't we found any? Right. And it's a first. Oh. Oh, nice. A Barbie. Whoa. 1904. And it's in fantastic condition. Oh, beautiful eagle. So that right there was right in one small area. Mm -hmm. Kind of odd. Wow. So you can imagine every time I stood up and checked. There was more. There was more. Mm. Uh, three coins and a bunch of randoms. Awesome. Nice. Yeah. Well done. How many grommets, anybody? I got three. I got three. I got zero. I got zero. Huh. Six? Yeah. That ain't bad. We're cleaning up. That's what it is. Yeah. Cleaning the ground. Next time. Go we over got, there. Yeah, yeah, we got checked out. Comb it. Yeah. Right, right on. Yeah, let's go.